Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Today we are doing must-have upgrades for the Talaria Sting. We've had it for uh, just about two months now and we've got to take it out a little bit. And I've put some mods on it as you can probably see. A lot of which I think the bike needs. A lot of these bikes come with a very, you know, standard setup. And I think a lot of these upgrades are necessary. So I'm going to give you a full breakdown of everything I have on the bike right now. All these upgrades are going to be everything I want on the bike just short of, you know, upgraded battery controller. Those are when you really start to get into thousands of dollars. The most expensive thing I have on this right now are the forks that isn't stock. So everything else is going to be relatively cheap. All the upgrades are going to be linked down in the description below. All right, without further delay, let's get into the review. And real quick guys, before we get this video started, as always, this video is sponsored by Talaria Studios. A lot of you guys are probably already familiar with them as the guys that own and operate Suron Shop. When I found out that the guys that work at Suron Shop are also going to be making parts for the Talaria, well, that was ultimate justification for me pulling the trigger on the bike. And they're very, very good at thinking outside of the box when it comes to parts and upgrades for these bikes. So be sure to check them out guys, link will be down in the description, and let's get back to the video. We're also, at the end of the video, going to be talking about what is backwards compatible with our Suron. We have our Suron out right here, talking about parts that can fit from your Suron onto the Talaria without any problems at all, which opens up a huge market for the Talaria because you can just buy Suron parts for the Talaria. So starting up top, we have a two inch rise direct mount handlebar stem. This is from Grit Shift. Really love this. This is a problem with the Suron and the Talaria. Whenever you crash these bikes, the handlebars, when you have that clamp on, your handlebars twist constantly. And also that it's a two, ri two inch riser is really, really good too. So to top that off, we also have a three inch rise handlebars. These are basically pro taper handlebars, but LunaCycle makes them. Sells them for a fraction of the price. And I can't really tell a difference. I have pro tapers on my Suron over there. And these are Luna's three inch rise handlebars and they're exactly the same. So we got quite a bit of lift as far as our handlebars go. Up here, we got some generic universal bark busters. That way you don't break your hands. Got some red spacers here. They're gonna match some graphics I'm gonna get for the bike soon enough. Uh, we actually designed our own graphics and uh, they're on their way. Apart from that, we can turn on the bike. I also have a headlight switch right up here. And that just obviously turns the headlight on and off. Over in the front, we have a Suron fender that I have a 3D mount printed down here. So I actually have this 3D printed part that we made. And I have a star nut going into the bottom of the steering tube that basically holds it up. So it's like the same thing as up top as far as your steering tube goes, except I have just a bolt holding this bracket right here. And that holds the fender is really nice. These spikes obviously need bigger fenders front and rear. I don't know why they don't ship with them. Talaria does have quite a few fender options already, even though it's a new bike. We got Dorado Experts, Manitou Dorado Experts. Love these forks. They fit right into the bike. There's no, no problem with them at all. They're equivalent to Fox 40 forks. Really smooth. They're about the same price too. They're pretty expensive. The reason that I like these over Fox 40 forks is because they don't have the bridge in the middle. A lot of people complain about you know, there's too much flex in an inverted fork like the DNMs. I don't think that is at all. They have a little bit more because they don't have the bridge, but I think all that room that that gives you for a fender is definitely worth it. We got, um, these are both, I got a Trackmaster front and rear. We got a 21 inch tire um, for the front, which is standard motocross. Um, and then down here, we got our uh, upgraded uh, disc brakes that were actually on the Suron. They're actually made for the Suron. Uh, so we got uh, better braking in front, bigger tire, and that 21 inch tire is basically going to let you roll over stuff better. That 19 inch slides out from under you really, really easy. So 21 inch is much, much better. All right, we got some aluminum. These are actually motocross pegs. They fit pretty good, except for this bit right here. I had to weld a spacer just so the pegs are level 
Um, otherwise, they dip forward just like a little bit. I'll put these down in the description, but you do have to do a little modification to them. Um, but I love them. Basically, screws coming out of the, the pegs, and they hold on to your feet incredibly well we got another track master uh this is actually your this is actually the talaria stock rim uh it's a three and a half inch wide tire so it's wider than the stock tire that comes on the bike um since the talaria is much wider you're able to get a much bigger tire in here easier i did have to trim some of these knobs i actually had these knobs trimmed for my suron so they were already trimmed but you would have had to trim some anyway it has a lot more clearance but it's still really close to that chain so uh trimming these i didn't have to do anything to it i slapped it right on but yeah these very side knobs i had to cut off or you would have to cut off if you got a new one here the talaria normally comes with i think it's a 34 2 sprocket we have a stock suron 48 2 so it's geared down a little bit we have a mud guard up here that helps block the rear shock this one does okay but there's still quite a bit of gunk that gets back on the shock just with this one I'm really ashamed of this actually, but <laughs> I do. This is actually a cutting board, like one of those flexible cutting boards. And they work really well. They're, you know, they're four of them for 10 bucks. And I had one of these on the Suron for two and a half years and it never, it was always fine. It's plenty like flexible and it's really stiff. It's a cutting board. It's kind of redneck, but it's, it works really well. <laughs> for 10 bucks <laughs> because like the normal like mud flap for the fender is like i think it's like 20 bucks or something so i mean 20 bucks for one of them and then just like have you seen extreme couponing uh, last up so i made a video about this fender quite a while ago we tried to put it on our suron it is basically a motor cross style fender it had big number plates down here i did have to modify it just a little bit to get it to fit uh rear two bolts that come down here on the seat but i just took a drill and drilled it through it wasn't very hard at all it took about five minutes and uh they fit right on there perfectly it hugs the seat super well there's a little gap right here you could probably patch up if you really wanted to but i'm not even going to bother and that helps a lot the normal fender only comes out to about here and it makes the bike look so much bigger uh the only thing that i don't have on it right now that i want is my number plate and my decals everything is relatively cheap to buy and the bike already feels so much better if you want a suron then you probably already have like a lot of these parts and you can just swap them onto the bike all right yeah so that's basically all the upgrades what i want to get into next is the backwards compatible with the talari and the suron there's a couple things that don't work on the talari that work on the suron basically that uh rear brace that you can buy that goes in between your pegs. Tolari is a little bit wider, so that brace isn't gonna work, it's just simply too short. Um, the rear fender, the mounts are different. So if you want to fit like a longer fender, they don't make longer fenders for it right now, so you're gonna have to do, I really like the way this one turned out. Uh, the fender's kind of expensive, I think it's a hundred bucks. But if you want a, a longer fender, as far as right now, uh, they don't make any upgraded ones. Sprockets fit on here um, from the Suron. The disc brakes fit on from the Suron. Uh, the forks sit on here from the Suron. Actually, those forks on the Suron right now are from the Talaria, so those are backwards compatible. Uh, the chain is a 420 chain still. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that upgrades video. Let me know what you think. This is the bike we're going to be racing. We're going to be upgrading uh, our power, so battery and controller. But we're going to do a couple races with the stock form just so we can get a better idea of what the Talari can do by itself without dumping a crazy amount of money into it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.